right, so we're getting back on track. The biggest thing I can tell you guys that will 100% get you into Master Ball tier is this. Battle was canceled? What? Battle was canceled. Young Thug has been defeated. I cannot believe I just got out of that game. Gamers, hello, how are you doing? My name is Daedra and I really wanna go over a question that I get a lot, which is how the heck do you go about getting into Master Ball tier? Um, and a lot of people will say like, oh, it's not about your rank, it's about learning from your losses, which is obviously true, but uh, the end goal is always to get to the best point possible. And like, it's not even about getting to Master Ball tier, it's about learning from your mistakes and getting good and master ball tier being the reward so get how to get to master ball tier that's what i want to go over uh season two i went from being a smogon ou singles player knowing only singles meta to getting to master ball tier in a week and then season three same thing in a day uh, it's it's hard and easy um to learn it but with this advice, I'm going to give you guys, I, I think you could do it. If I could do it, trust me, anybody could do it. I'm an idiot. So the best advice I can give is to download Pokemon Showdown, all right? If you guys don't know what Pokemon Showdown is, uh, you guys can literally just, just Google it up. Pokemon Showdown, Pokemon Showdown. And uh, it'll come up. There's going to be a link down below. It's a battle simulator. If you guys don't have it, I highly recommend it. Please get it. Um, the next thing I want to go over is Picolytics, guys, for team building and stuff like that. And keep in mind, I'm going to have a bunch of individual guides for stuff like this, like resources guides, uh, trick room team guide, uh, team building guide, season three, uh, VGC 2020 threats and team building, uh, and like just, just a bunch of stuff like that. So, don't worry, this is just like a basic, you know, how-to type of video uh, for Master Balls here. Huh, I'm out of breath, talking too much. Anyways, and then you want to check out VGC stats. And these will always be linked inside of our Discord. If you scroll down a little bit to VGC tools with a carrot, uh, it'll be right here. Oh, yeah, and of course, the damage calculator. How can I forget that for team building? But we're not going to go over that right now. All right, so getting back on track, the biggest thing I can tell you guys that will 100% get you into Master Ball tier is this lose <laughs> lose just keep losing and learning i got a hundred losses in season two before i got into master ball tier all right that's just i know it's corny like oh my god just uh, you're not gonna learn anything until you lose no that is like 100 percent true but um just because you want to get into master ball get wanting to get to a goal is not a bad thing keep get to master ball tier keep saying yes i want to get to master ball tier that's that's my goal um that's a great goal to have. I, you know, I'm really happy that was my goal. And just understand what it takes to get there. And that is taking a bunch of L's. And the, the wins will come uh, once you learn the meta. And <laughs> Season 3 came and punched me in the face because I had to relearn meta. Man, um, Hypnosis Melodic, freaking annoying. That, that thing coils and it's so annoying. Um, super Luck Togekiss, super, super annoying. I actually have one right here. Scope Lens, Super Luck, hit a critical hit ratio. This thing's just smashing you with crits, man. It, it, it's tra it's tragic, but like I said, I'm gonna go over uh, you know the season three meta analysis in a separate video this week. Um, and probably continuing on alongside Animal Crossing stuff, maybe. Uh, but I don't wanna talk about that now. Anyways, so yeah, just, just to sum it up, man, use these tools. Uh, use showdown test your strategies out take l's just learn 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 it do not don't don't care about how many losses you have i promise you and yeah and don't just play showdown no go into sword and shield get your team in sword and shield and take losses i don't care how garbage your team is take losses because you're learning the meta you're you're learning like what threatens your team what threats exist what eighth gen pokemon are all about and pokemon that exist that people use are all about you're gonna learn all that stuff by taking losses i don't care if you never win a game and you stay in pokeball tier forever the best way to get in master ball tier is to stay in pokeball tier if you have to because eventually you will learn you will watch guides hopefully my guides that are coming up soon will help you make a good team you'll find a good rental team that suits your play style and you will get to master ball tier and you'll know what to look for and how to utilize that team to its fullest potential wow i just spit some facts hold up all right, just ruined it. But no, for real. Come on. So, yeah, I I, I hope this helped. Uh, I know it was like a pretty pretty basic guide, but 
like i said i wanted to upload on saturday thank you guys for watching we're gonna get into some more in-depth stuff said it this is like my fourth time so if this guy helped you guys please leave a like uh, i appreciate you i love talking to you guys i love educating and i'm really excited to just make some more how-to guys i know everybody like appreciates my breakdown of even the stupid like den raid or den skipping stuff like i know a lot of people liked my explanation so yeah i'm really excited and hopefully can help a lot of you get into competitive and we can all share ideas and stuff like that but uh, i'm ranting at this point i actually i guess i've been ranting the whole time and i'm ranting about ranting so uh have a good one i'll see you soon peace <laughs>